Hi, it's Katie McKenzie, mortgage professional of McKenzie Mortgage with TMG The Mortgage Group and your host of I Love Vancouver Real Estate. Thank you for taking the time to be with us today. It's my pleasure today to be here with Kendall Ansel, principal of Kendall Ansel Interiors and Sonia Paul, project manager with Kendall Ansel Interiors and a special guest. Uh, Kendall's new son, Fraser. So if you hear him in the background, uh, he might he might add to our podcast today. So Kendall Ansel Interiors looks to create special and unique homes, offices effortlessly, blending substance and style with a collaborative and seamless design process from beginning to end. Their range of services includes full-service interior design, home staging, drafting, custom millwork, construction drawings, customized lighting plans, and in-home color consultations. In the seven years Kendall has been an interior designer, her work has been seen in various publications. She's received the Best of House Award four years in a row and can regularly be seen at the Home and Garden Show as an exhibitor and presenter, more of which we'll talk about today. So Kendall and Sonia and Fraser, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having us. Thank you. So tell our listeners a bit more about yourselves or anything I may have missed out in my intro. Yeah, I think the biggest thing that people don't realize about ourselves is we're both local, both born and raised in, in BC, BC. Yeah, <laughs> which is awesome. So we know a lot about the Lower Mainland and the construction world that is our lives. We actually grew up in the construction industry as well. Kendall's father being a contractor and my father being a builder. So we kind of know the ins and outs of what's going on and what's so, been happening. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, great. So... First point, uh, people always ask me as a mortgage broker, what's your best five-year rate? So you must get asked first off, you know, how much do you cost? How much does it cost to work with you? So, yeah. To so talk to sort of price point, people might think it's expensive, mm -hmm. but it's actually more approachable than that. Yeah, exactly. It's a very common question that we also get asked. Uh, it's usually one of the first two questions people will ask if they phone our office. And, you know, we are competitive. Our rate is hourly rate is very similar to a lot of the designers in the city. But we explain to people that we are actually saving you a lot of time and money by working on your project with you. And we do that in a few ways. With the time, we are doing all the hard work for you. So you're not running around looking at 10 different countertops at 10 different stores. You're actually, um, we're doing all that work for you, narrow to, narrowing down your choices. So we're saving you a lot of time and saving you money. We get trade discounts everywhere, so mm -hmm. we pass those on to our clients yeah. and uh, make sure they're well looked after. Well, too, if you're buying large items, you know, certain people that you're buying from might have a restocking fee too. So yes. you, know, you might lose out even if you're buying, placing, deciding you hate it, and then having to take it back. Exactly. Yeah. So we have those relationships already in place and um, you can bring a case of beer to solve the problem <laughs> sometimes. Excellent. That usually helps. So what does the process look like in working with you? So I, I pick up the phone and call to talk to you. What, yeah. You know, what does that process look like? And that's probably the second question people ask us when they phone us. <laughs> yeah, so Sonia and I offer a free in-home consultation. We come and have a look at your project, decide what the scope is going to be. Because a lot of people, they want to do work on their homes, but they don't really know what precisely they want to do. So that initial meeting is really getting down to exactly what services we're going to perform. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we provide a quote of service because we don't like to do surprise bills. Often in our industry, a lot of people just, the bill just shows up and they don't anticipate it's coming. With our business, we want to make sure that people know that the bills are coming when, mm -hmm. when they come. Yeah, you see that a lot in the news where the, the initial quoted price is often it's, very different at the end. Absolutely. And I mean, if we're doing extra hours of service, then we let the client know up front what we'll be, what we'll be doing and what we'll be charging. So that's step two. And then step three, we start designing the project. So we come up with an overall concept. We do 3D renderings of the space. We provide samples. So when we show up at your house next, we have kind of a game plan of what we want to do to your place after asking you, of course, questions on what your inner style mm -hmm. really is. And then from there, we, you know, we make any tweaks that you've requested, and then we do design implementation. So we're helping hire the contractor, or we're organizing the painter to come in, or we're collecting costs on furniture and moving forward that way. And that's key, having someone to be able to coordinate all of that and, yeah. and adds to that time saving, right? Yeah. You know, I'm at work and you're dealing with that coordination for me. That's so. right. The best clients are the ones that give us their keys and say, off go we go. <laughs> um, Sonia definitely appreciates that. But it 
but um, it's really nice to know that clients trust us to to leave their you know their home their lives with us yeah so Sonia in in your experience in working with Kendall like what's the timeline on some of the projects you've done I mean it would depend on size of project of and the yeah. size of home of but... course a renovation versus a furnishing project mm -hmm. um, it will take a few months for a furnishing project versus a renovation because renovations will take months like they can take up to a year we have one ongoing that we got a referral at the home and garden show um and that was a year ago yeah, yeah and it's still ongoing and i think they're just finishing up right now yeah now you guys did a project here on Beatty street did you not yes we and did that, was, that has been published so you know that was a full design of a home or was it a renovation it was a furnishing project. Okay. So that was primarily a bachelor that had um, furniture that was sitting on the ground. Nothing really worked together. He had, it was really crammed in there. He was trying to make it work, but it just didn't. Yeah. So we went in and we custom made a dining table for him, pretty much a bar height table for him behind his sofa, got a custom media uh, center for him. Beautiful upholstered bed because he was like, I have to have an upholstered tufted bed. So, and um, hung his art that he had collected over the years from his travels and kind of made it a bit more personal and obviously got his input as to what his style was and what he liked. Yeah. So now you can also repurpose or redesign from what a, a, a client already has in the course. home and optimize the space. Correct? Of course. If, yeah, that's definitely the ideal situation because they've collected that piece somewhere out in you know on their travels or yeah. it's been they've inherited it or there's always some story behind how they got the pieces they they got before we walk into the space so we want to be respectful of that and mm -hmm. i think you know a lot of people just throw things away and if we can repurpose and reuse that's you know what we need to be doing now especially with the state of the world yeah <laughs> we actually have this great client uh and uh, your aunt and uncle. Yeah. They just got a huge shipment of antiques that they shipped from Scotland and are just, they're just amazing pieces that they just want to like reuse yeah. in their whole space. Mm -hmm. So occasionally Kendall and I will make a trip out and we'll switch out some pieces that they want to like, they want to keep recycling them throughout mm -hmm. the space so it's something new and fresh each time somebody comes to their house. So it turns to be quite, turns out to be quite a beautiful space for sure. Now, what if someone comes in and says, you know, I want the hottest trend? What, what are the hottest trends? Yeah, for sure. Well, I can name them. I'm an expert right now. So, um, blue is the new black, which is really cool. I, it's like my favorite color of all time. Um, velvet is really popular right really? now. Really? Making and a huge comeback. We're seeing, and I call them bleeding floors, because I don't really know how to, how to describe it any other way, but we, we're taking tile and wood floors and kind of connecting them and I'm doing a hand motion now that these people will not see but um, <laughs> they're connecting them together in kind of a bleeding pattern so that the wood is running into the tile and the tile is running into the wood that's really popular I've seen that maybe inside some wood tables where they yes. have like an inlay on yeah. yeah okay yeah so I, I can envision essentially that. that's the floor now yeah doing that and uh, mirrored coffee tables have come back in style really which is great because there's they're almost like that neutral piece that works in any space. <laughs> and you also work with some custom, um, what do you call them, like build, uh, furniture builders, designers that yes. can make custom pieces just yes. for your client. That's exactly. right. We love that. Because often, you know, I used to work, uh, live and work in the U.S. And in the U.S. you can get anything you want. So <laughs> imagine you just can get anything. So how do you narrow down that perfect piece for your space, because anything won't just work in your space. Yeah. So what's really cool about our furniture makers here is we're creating something that is unique just. Another thing that we do when it comes to furniture design is we make sure that if you want to take that piece and put it in another, your new place, it will work for that. It's not, it's not customized to that specific niche that you're trying to organize it. It'll be something that can yeah. probably come apart and you can reuse it. So it's repurposed again. Now, do you also work with people who are downsizing? So we've got a lot of yes. people, say, West Side Vancouver, who are selling their three, four million dollar homes and mm -hmm. having to move into a two bedroom condo. Yeah, we get a lot of calls about that. And I think the, and yes, the answer is we do work with those people. But 
the, the biggest challenge for that is you've bought furnishing for a large house and now you have to furnish a small house. Yes. So what we find is that the pieces coming from those large homes do not fit in the small ones. Okay, so tell me, how does someone choose someone to work with? How do they choose you to work with? What are they looking for when they're looking for an interior designer? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, and I think, you know, we're working in their intimate space. So they need to be comfortable. Fraser has a lot to say about that. <laughs> they need to be comfortable with, um, with us. So I would say to interview um, people, I would also say don't call just one person. Call a few designers mm -hmm. in the city because you really want to find your best fit that will work well with your life. So that's, yeah. I'd say, the main thing. Do you have any... It's, yeah, it has to be the right fit. It's like if at any point you just, you don't feel comfortable, like they're just, you, it's pretty much like making friends because we're in your space. Like we go through like your intimate stuff. Like you mm -hmm. need to understand that we have to do that in order to see how you actually live in order to pick the pieces. So yeah. knowing that you have to be comfortable with that person. So definitely, definitely interview a few people before. And you can also look at your, your previous work online. Of course. See what's been published. I mm -hmm. mean, yeah. you, you've had an article recently with your, your own space. Exactly. So, so I think, I was just to touch on that a bit, I think a lot of people look at our portfolio and they're like, wow, there's, we do so many different spaces, different styles. They're all different, like all so unique. And um, as long as we get to know you, we can design exactly for your inner style. Mm -hmm. We don't. You know, if you say you want something Mediterranean, you want something French, we can, we Definitely can go do there. That. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's about you, it's not about us. And our job as designers and good designers is to, to create a home that reflects you and your, your yeah. style. Yeah, you're the creator. I have tons of great ideas. I have no way of putting them together. Give us your ideas, <laughs> we will make it flow for you. So tell me about the upcoming uh, BC Home and Garden Show. It's on uh, at BC Place from February 22nd to 26th, and both of you will be there. Mm -hmm. But you're not just going to be there as exhibitor exhibitors. You've got something really cool happening. Yeah, absolutely. So we are working with um, an amazing container home company called Hono Mobo. Um, from Edmonton and Kelowna, and they are bringing a 700, approximately 700 square foot, two bedroom container home, excuse me, sorry little one, to put on display for us. So we're going to show people, we're going to create a, a laneway type situation in BC Place, and are showing people how they can add this container home to a lane to create more income for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. We're also going to have another container. It's a small kind of backyard studio container. It does not require permits. You can, it's kind of like buying a shed. You can put this very high-end shed to do like a writer's studio, an art artist studio. Mm -hmm. A gym. A gym. I mean, it's really a Now, why does awesome. that not need a permit, yet the other one does? Yeah, just based on the size. Okay. Yeah. So the other container is very small. So this could be for your studio, your man cave, totally. or your she shed, as they're now known as. Yes, yes. I yes. like that. <laughs> she shed. My <laughs> photography studio. Yes, yes, exactly. Great. Yeah. So yeah. you'll have that uh, at the home show. Yeah, mm -hmm. so these are really, and, and we're also working with a, a great landscape company out in Langley called Blue Pine, and they will be presenting a gorgeous backyard with to complement the container home. So we're really excited to be with these great partners and have this really unique experience coming to BC Place. Yeah. If you've never been to the uh, Home and Garden Show, I highly recommend it. It is, I mean, I know we're in the industry, but there are some really unique ideas For sure. and, and an opportunity to meet you guys mm -hmm. um, and, and meet all these other exhibitors who, yeah. who can add value to your home. Absolutely, you know, and I think and, a lot of really amazing local businesses yes you know these are there's a lot of mom and pop shops in in the in bc place people that have spent a lot of time to grow their businesses and i think that's something that's really important and i think it's becoming growingly important to know you know where products are made from who's making them yes. who you're getting who's showing up to your house because if you meet sonia and i at the home show we will be the ones coming to your house yes. uh, afterwards it's not it's not someone else so I really like that about the home show. I feel like it has a very family feel to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. You're in this large venue, but exactly mm -hmm. that. I, it, it caught me off guard of thinking that buy local 
sort of terminology. It's not just your local coffee shop or store making jewelry. It's mm -hmm. it's local, larger firms that you don't necessarily see on the street corner. Exactly. That's right. You know? Exactly. That's right. So. And you get to talk face to face to people. And yeah. I think that that's a really important element that obviously is talked about a lot in the news that we're losing that connection. So to make, to, to have a pre chat with Sonia, I, or our other associate, Katie, can be an asset for people for sure. to feel more comfortable with. It's sort of like services. when you first introduce yourself, you either you kind of you mesh or you don't mesh. Do you know what I mean? You just yep, get yep. that vibe or you don't. So yeah. it's it's a really good opener for people to be like, to introduce themselves to even a designer or get yeah. into that world. Do you know what I mean? So we can be their initial. And then if they like us, great. If they don't, then by all so means, find somebody Tell me works. some of the unique things that you guys have talked to clients about. I know, Sonia, you've told me, like, you <laughs> ask... And this still sound funny, huh? but you know, do you bathe together? Yeah. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Yeah. So, yeah. tell me do a bit more about that. Do you just put pizzas in the oven at night? Because a lot of people, or do you walk fry in your kitchen? Because if you're oh, walk yeah. cooking mm -hmm. in a kitchen, a condo that's you know built in Vancouver and isn't ready for wok cooking, um, you can have a bit of a disaster. Yeah. But these are a, a lot of the questions I'm asking. We, you know, they're different bathroom to kitchen to living room, even just in the living room. How do you sit on the sofa? Are your legs curled up underneath you? Are yeah. they stretched out? Do you wrap a blanket around you when you sit on the sofa? Do you like big cushy pillows to put behind your neck? Yeah. Like, my father doesn't like my sofa because it doesn't support his neck well enough. So, yeah. you know, little things like or that. Or my mom, because she's shorter. Yeah. If yeah. the couch is wide on the on where, on the sit yeah. space, then their their legs can't wrap over the edge. We completely understand that because Kendall and I are both <laughs> five, five feet. feet. So, we understand that. Yeah. Yeah. And does yeah. the sofa eat you alive? Yeah. Alive but those, those little pieces of how you live in your home can make it an enjoyable space or exactly. space that you hate and want to turn to sell and that's an expensive adventure when you can just change the furniture yeah the, the textures of, of your pieces yeah the colors in the space just the little details like yeah. help so much so help much you enjoy your home exactly much more. yeah and um it's important to get to know you, like we've said in previous questions, but I think this element, weird questions, is, yeah. is what we're really good at. Yeah. So as I as I mentioned, of course, you're um, award-winning with House, and House does have a mobile app, so mm -hmm. highly recommend people hop on there. Yeah. You know, follow Kendall Ansel Interiors and build your your dream home because you can build it room by room, piece by piece on there. Yeah. And uh, is there anything else listeners should know about Kendall Ansel Interiors, Kendall or Sonia or Fraser? Fraser. <laughs> um, I think it's yeah. We're, we're open books, so feel free to ask us questions when you meet us. Yeah. Um, call us again as a complimentary in home consultation. You have nothing to lose. Exactly. Yeah, I think. Just, what do you think? <laughs> um, how, how do people reach you? But you can um, email us at info at kendallansell.com or uh, give us a phone call 604 614 7992. And, of course, on the web, just Google search Kendall oh, yeah. Ansel. Instagram as well, one of my faves. You're on yeah, Instagram. Yes, so, or even Facebook. We're, we're sort of everywhere, so yeah. pretty sure if you Google us, you'll find yeah. us. <laughs> or, again, at the, at the home show. And yes. uh, we're hoping to have a slew of tickets available soon, so watch for that yes. on my Facebook page as well. And, um, yeah. Thank you for taking the time to be with us today, and a huge thank you to our listeners. We trust that you can take some valuable information uh, from our from our conversation today with Sonia and Kendall. Should you have any other questions, please do reach out to them and or give myself a call. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast as well for future downloads. Uh, leave us a review and share with your friends. And until next time, I'm Katie McKenzie, a mortgage professional with McKenzie Mortgage of TMG The Mortgage Group and your host of I Love Vancouver Real Estate.